started, we'd like to welcome the members of the Student Revolving Loan Fund. And we've been talking over the last few weeks about the cybersecurity training course that's being made available to just about any and everyone. All you have to do is go get online, do your research, talk to them, and you can be starting a new career before you know it. Let's welcome Monique Wilson of the Student Revolving Loan Fund. Also with us, we have Rashad Selman and Simone Gill, who are past students. Simone is the valedictorian, and they're here to share more about this cybersecurity training course. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good to have all of you with us. Now, let's start with you, Monique. Uh, talk to me about the connection. How did the Student Revolving Loan Fund hear about this awesome opportunity and how easy is it to become a part of the program? Okay, SR Alaf, we partnered with the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training, Sadoka Cyber Inc., George Brown College, and Cyber Nations. It's an opportunity for Barbadians 18 years and older to earn a qualification in cybersecurity. Um, to get started, you just go to get started, you just visit our website, www.srlfloan.edu.bb. Easy. Uh, all right, so let's go to Rashad now. As a past student, what piqued your interest, first of all, in the cybersecurity course? Well, um I guess straight to the point, the opportunity for a career change, a new pathway, um, something that gives me a bit more freedom in terms of what I can do. Um, and then of course, I am a bit of a computer geek, so this ticks a lot of the boxes in terms of what I want to do with my future um, for the next five, 10 years. Um, so let's shift over now to Simone. Does the same apply for you? Uh, is the, is are you also a bit of a computer geek? <laughs> is what you decided <laughs> to share? No, please. But similar to Rashad, um, when I had enrolled in this course, I noticed that there was a relevance of cybersecurity within our country. And what piqued my interest was the current degree I'm pursuing economics and finance at the university where we would have touched on cryptocurrencies and cybersecurity. And I also want to bring some form of cybersecurity hygiene, proper hygiene to myself and my community as well. Now you are valedictorian of, I would imagine the cohort that you participated in. So applause to you. That's no easy Thank feat. Uh, so <laughs> talk to me about, about your journey with the, the particular program. Oh my, where would I begin? The program was very intense. It was 16 weeks of intense work. And we had a cohort of just over 150 students. And we had theoretical processes. We learned different frameworks. And also those would have included industry, industry standards also risk management processes that we would use either to mitigate, avoid, or transfer risk. And there were some virtual simulations that we would have used as well to assist us with how we would go about doing processes in real world. Well, Rashad, was that your experience as well? Uh, for you, did it feel like 16 weeks of just intense work to get through the program? Um, I will admit it has been quite a climb up a mountain, a proverbial mountain, but um, having a better lay of the land, a better understanding of what um, our cybersecurity stance is, um, having a better understanding of uh, what we can do to prevent any future um, threats and instances. Uh, I think it was definitely a journey to just try to keep on top of the coursework, keep on top of the projects, keep on top of um, all of the uh, assignments as well and uh, yeah uh, would you say Rashad that somebody should have a background in um, maybe computer science or computer studies would that make it easier or do you think that someone who has no background at all uh, will be able to get through the project now 
the, the program. Now, I know that Simone said her background is in finance uh, and economics, um, but we've been getting that question a lot. People call me every week we talk about this. People call me and they say, you know, I, I don't necessarily have a background in computers. Could this still be right for me? Definitely. This is a field that grants um, the skill sets for artists, for any persons in blue collar jobs, um, any type of trade as well, because you are going to be required to communicate with uh, stakeholders, um, C-level type uh, persons, um, executives as well. You're going to be able to, well, you're going to need to be able to get certain points across to your um, corporate audience. So. There are lots of relatable skills that you're going to be able to take with you to enter into this field. Um, yeah. Is that your thinking as well, Simone? Uh, as somebody who wasn't a computer geek, I'm flogging it. I'm flogging it. <laughs> you know, uh, did you feel like you had to start from scratch? For you, Simone. Hi. Yeah. Do you feel, did you feel like you had to start from scratch as somebody who didn't necessarily come in with a background in computers? Yes, please. I did. I definitely did. But I found that with my cohort, they were able to assist me with the process and it was much easier. All right. That's, that's excellent news. And then to come out top of the class really makes the difference. So, Monique, yes. let's go through the process of applying i know you kind of laid it out and you said go to the website and so on but uh let's go through the process once again so people understand what's ha what happened so they reach out to the student revolving loan fund you get online you fill an application and from there what happens well after you fill the application um a loans officer well i'm the lead loans officer on the project so i will reach out to you regarding your application to ensure you have all the documentation then the uh, other thing what documentation be, is that that you will need you would need one piece of national identification a police certificate of character proof of address a medical certificate now the loan needs to be secured by either a surety or a security okay continue okay a surety is basically someone between the ages of 21 and 60 who is willing to back you on the loan for security, you can use cash, government bonds, cash surrender value on insurance policy. Um, the loan is for fourteen thousand Barbados dollars. Now, for the fourteen thousand dollars, you get the cost of the tuition, you get the software, and we also provide a laptop. There is the option, however, if you don't need the laptop, if you have a computer already, where you can just borrow eleven thousand dollars. That being said, if you do not require an accent from student revolving loan fund, you can still go ahead and do the program. But you will need to complete an application online. Okay, so even if you're not going to move forward with financing, just to be clear, you still mm -hmm. need to do that application form through the student revolving loan funds website to be able to come uh, to be a part of the course. Yes, that is correct because. Through our website, then you would do the plum assessment, which is a requirement by Cyber Nations. And then, uh, what's the outcome? Uh, because I think this is the most engaging part of it, uh, or appealing part of it, is what the possibilities are at the end. Once you have successfully completed the program, you will be granted job placement. And I, I can say well, because from the first cohort, we've met with Cyber Nations and they have confirmed that 80% of the first cohort who have graduated have received job placement. And this is only 27 days after graduation. That's indeed excellent. Uh, Rashad, has that been your experience? <clears throat> yes, definitely. Um, it's actually been more fast paced than I, uh, I'm still coming to terms that I just got a cybersecurity job. <laughs> um, yeah, they, uh, they've been putting in a lot of work. They managed to start the process of placements, I think, the day before our graduation. So that in itself is exemplary and very impressive. Um, to have almost less than 19, 18% of the students left to be placed, um, I think that is definitely an achievement in just a month, of, uh, a month after the graduation. 
Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen these types of uh, results in any any course mm -hmm. whatsoever. Having gone through the university, you hear a lot of students say that it's difficult even after then to be able to go out and, and get some work. Simone, what has been your experience? Did they thrust you away from economics and finance? <laughs> No, they haven't actually. <laughs> what I am also looking to do is to leverage this along with procurement. I have procurement under my wings as well to be able to leverage it a bit to coincide with cybersecurity. So, and cyber nations kept their word. <laughs> All right, that's definitely, uh, you know, very, very interesting. Um, it's great to hear about the, the, um, the experiences that you both has ha have had, which, are, which seem very, very uh, similar in nature. So Rashad, talk to me about, you know, doing it online. Uh, I know throughout COVID, we, c we got accustomed to that. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not ne necessarily something that we even used to think about. I think that deeply in Barbados before COVID-19, as someone said, hey, I'm going to do a course online. People were like, hmm, we're not sure if it's a real course or not. <laughs> so let's talk about the mode of delivery. So the virtual format, um, I know that in our culture is not something that we are accustomed to. Um, I myself have been part of and teaching online classes during the pandemic. So I, I personally have felt um, the need for and the benefit of such uh, environments. What Cyber Nations has done is to give us um, a very practical, virtual uh, approach to the course delivery. They have a, a platform very similar to what um, we may use with the university. Um, you know, you will go on, log on, you have access to the Zoom links, you have access to all of the course content, your grades, your assessments, everything is organized to a T. It is impressive. Um, there's lots of exercises that we get to do um, where we engage our group members. So there's a lot of teamwork and collaboration, which is extremely important um, in this field. And uh, yeah, just, just building camaraderie and ensuring that we can all meet a goal. I think this program definitely managed to do that in a virtual format. And it's very impressive that we did that. What about you, Simone? Having studied at the University of the West Indies, I would imagine in a face-to-face -face format, how is it moving into a hybrid format? Because for some people, uh, you have to be really self-motivated in getting those hours in. I think Rashad mentioned it earlier, uh, keeping on top of the assignments, uh, keeping on top of your reading and so on. It's not necessarily where you have somebody there saying, uh, where you know I'm showing up for this particular time, you know, where you can sometimes do it at leisure, it can be a little bit of a different dynamic. Yes, it was. But I would say what played a big part in this was being self-motivated and driven because I knew what I was working towards and knowing especially how I would be able to assist with my community, my family, the country in extension, and also seeing what was going on in Barbados what was happening with the credit unions, other communities as well. So I knew I wanted to play a part in this and I was driven by that. So it was no holds bar, Simone, you have this. Wow, I can see that you guys both enjoyed um, doing this program and you truly are good ambassadors for the program. I myself am thinking about, can I do cybersecurity? I mean, you know, it might be an interesting thing to do. So that is definitely a good thing. So congratulations to you, Rashad Salman, for completing the program. And congratulations to you, Simone Gill, who com you completed the program and valedictorian of your cohort. Excellent job to both of you. Congratulations uh, on that. And of course, this is done in association, like Monique would have told us, with the government of Barbados, George Brown College and uh, SDOCCA Cyber Inc. Uh, last word for you, Monique, on how people, uh, why people should get involved with this program. You should get involved with the program because it is an excellent opportunity to either start a new career or do a career change. It is an industry that continues to grow. The more we go online and we live online, the industry will grow and there will be 
job opportunities. Um, we are providing for announcing the program is four months. And while you're studying for the four months at SR, with SRLF, there are no payments, no interest on the loan. Um, after the four months, you get four months grace period and then your payment begins. Um, if you have any questions, give us a call. 535-0834 or visit us www.srlfloan.edu.bb we are here to assist in any way that we can oh that's wonderful thank all of you for coming through and sharing with us definitely some food for thought wonderful to have you on morning barbados thank you thank you Thank you, thank you. All right. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Feel good. Yeah, definitely. Those of you looking for a career change, that's a great idea.